previously on Isle of Life. And, yeah, just making their way down another street. I don't think you Islanders would remember this. This was a previous, I think it was a previous episode that I actually did this section here. You can see that I'm just things all over the place. And I woke up. I actually had a bit of a long sleep. Of course, but this Ori can still professionally a purifier as well. Hey, okay, Islanders. Just saw a friend go past. These, 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 these footpaths are packed with people. As I just noticed. Okay. And more. It's, it's packed. Fully packed with people. I have to say. Really. I don't think I see anybody else. There's there is house under construction so now just making my way up to the shops and I'm gonna do that now effective immediately <coughs> People still how many people walk on these footpaths every day? Damn the sakes. Okay, we're all in the clear. We're good. So yeah, that's up. IGA. Hey Islanders. That's what we'll do. I mean, you've only really probably seen about three and a half minutes. Yes. You know what? Maybe make that three. No, three minutes or so because we had like two people. Because, like I said, these footpaths here on Russell Island are jam packed with people. Every nanosecond, there's at least one person on the footpaths within a kilometer of any direction. Any direction where there's a footpath within one kilometer, there's always some one person walking on it. That's how jam packed the population is at Brussels. It's like 6,000 people here. And with half the empty plot of land, and with our half empty, and of course, with half the uh, half the land plot still empty, I think there's a prediction that we could house up to thirteen thousand people. And if there was obviously like multiple bedroom homes, that could house even up to fifteen thousand people. Which means that, which means 
ones that's going to be highly populated in the future. So, so um, we're going to be expecting to see a huge population spurt. It's going to be a big growth spurt for Russell Island. Down to IKEA Russell Island. Catch up with your islands later. Okay, Islanders, we're heading back now. And it's such a shame that you only got to see about like four minutes of it or so. <laughs> oh my god, it's still full of people. I think you Islanders understand now why I've cut this so many times. People. <sighs> Taking up all the footpath. Russell Island's just too overpopulated now. Just far too overpopulated. Gosh. Good. No one's coming. That's what I'm saying. This island is just overpopulated. Too populated. It's got too high of a population. Anything but top notch. I think we can all agree with that. Make our way back now. Luckily, I don't think there's anybody else out on the same footpath as I am. Hopefully, hopefully there isn't. Oh my goodness! This bag is so heavy; it's ripping my shoulders apart. Going up and down hill is different. Going uphill is a challenge. Going downhill is easy. Not too far now. Uh, tell you what, Islanders, I'm going to have to transfer the, the camera over to the other hand. Uh, this bag is ripping my shoulder apart. Quite literally, quite literally.
Yeah, it's just so destroyed in the head because they haven't got any trolleys inside their store, which is very poor planning on their part. Outrageous. Some noisy kids on the scene. This is ah. anyways, thanks all for watching this episode of Island Life Living in Poverty. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll talk with all you islanders tomorrow. Bye. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Island Life YouTube channel.